Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll talk to you about customizing the form using Microsoft Access. This is, of course, a bit different because it's actually not a SharePoint solution. It's connected to SharePoint, the information is stored in SharePoint, but the form is actually going to be displayed in Microsoft Access. And this is one of the strong points of SharePoint in general, that it works very well together with other applications and the whole Microsoft infrastructure, really. So as you've probably seen before, there are lots of different ways to customize the form. And um, Access is yet another one of those. So I'm going to show that now. There are two ways of doing that. I have a list here. I'm going to create a new form for this list, and I'm going to do it with Access. And there are two ways, as I said. First of all, you can open with Access, and that works sometimes. This time it works just beautifully, but sometimes this button doesn't work as it should. So I'm going to show you the other way of doing it. So I'm going to start, just pressing the Start button and searching for Access. In this case I have Access 2013, but this works just fine in 2016 also. And it actually works in the 2010 version of Access also. So this is kind of an old school solution. So you start by creating a blank database. And I'm just going to call that um, tasks, which is what I'm working at right now. And that creates a default desktop database table. So I'm going to remove that. We don't want it. Table one, close that first. There we go. And then I'm going to connect to external data. And what I'm going to connect to is, of course, the SharePoint list. And now I already have the site address because I've done this before. But as usual, I will get to go in here and copy the shortcut to the site. So that's the address I want. And of course, I want to link to the data source by creating a link table. I don't want to import. That would put the information in my current database, and that's not what I want. I want a link, and I go to Next. And then I just click here on the To Do list, because that's the one I want to make a form based on that data. And now I can open up that. And here you see, here's all my information. Now I can create a form based on this by simply going into Create and creating a form. And that now, that form is going to be connected to the table I have open here. I don't actually have to have it open. I can close that down and just select it. That works fine too. So I'll create the form. And as you see, this now gets connected to the, the table. And I can see all the fields here. There are a couple of different views. I'm in the layout view. I can go to the design view and the form view. The form view lets me edit. So if I change the priority on this task, just go back and forth here, you'll notice that this actually gets saved. And not only in Access, it gets saved here in the list also. If I actually go in and show the priority, we'll see that. Let's just see that. There we go. Priority. And now we see the step back and do a financial review is on high there, which is just what I set, set there. So we see that this is uh, directly connected to the SharePoint information in the background. That also means that if you have workflows or you have alerts or something like that, you had calculated columns, those all work also. So no matter what you do in Access, it's SharePoint doing the data storage versioning, all those good things. Anyhow, so let me show you just the uh, design view, which I think is quite useful. Here you can go ahead and change the size of these boxes. Somewhat tricky to get the right handle here, but what I'm trying to do here is just change the height of this thing. There we go. And what I want to do with the description here is that I just want to change the height of it. All right, so you can of course play around with that and um, do a lot of things. You can also, actually in the background here, you can view the code. So if you want to run Visual Basic code, which is kind of old school, but, but it does work, you can do that too. And there are macros and all kind of cool stuff here. The final thing that I want to show you is if, there you, want, if you want your users to only work with this to-do form here when they're in this access database, you can go into the options of this database and ask it to display this to-do form when the database is opened. So now if I close this database, so now if I go into my documents 
and find my tasks there that I was working with just now. Open that, you'll see that it goes directly into this form that I want to work with. You do have to enable the contents, but it's fine. And now I can just go ahead and change the information and work in this form. So that hopefully uh, this gives you some ideas on how you can use access to build forms for your SharePoint lists. This also works for document libraries. You can change the documents, of course, but you can change the metadata for the documents. Thank you for watching this demonstration.